I have read every book by Kathy Glass, and I think I've loved pretty much all of them. So I was really looking forward to reading a Lisa Stone book. Lisa Stone is a pseudonym for Kathy Glass. Kathy Glass is also a pseudonym under which she writes foster care memoirs. And the first Lisa Stone book that I decided to read is called Taken. It was published in 2020. And I have to say, I really enjoyed this. There's one thing that I was really surprised with that was really poorly done but the rest of it is brilliant i will discuss with a spoiler warning what i think was badly done because i'll I'll give a specific example but the example is a spoiler but the rest of it i really love this is about a little girl an eight-year-old called leah the girl on the front of the cover is definitely younger than eight but she goes missing and we the reader know kind of what's happened to her pretty quickly. We know in the first chapter that it's got something to do with her downstairs neighbour because he's watching her and he. we find out through his internal thoughts that Leah is often on her own in the park because her mother is upstairs, either off her face on drugs or entertaining clients, to put it mildly. And he decides enough is enough. He's going to do something about it. And then he does something about it. And I won't say exactly what happens or how the narrative develops from that point. I probably could go into a little bit more detail without spoiling it. But I I really don't want to give away too much because I do thoroughly recommend it. And I did generally find it to be a very well-written, well-structured, very compelling, gripping narrative. And what's really interesting is that Leia's mother, Kelsey is a very likeable character, even though her mother makes some decisions that make her seem like not the best person. She is a a drug user. She's, well, as I said, entertaining clients. She doesn't seem like the kind of person one would want to spend time with. But actually, I took to her really quickly. It was very clear that the problems in her life now stem from problems in her past. What those are, I won't say. But I, I found that I really felt for her. And I was really emotionally invested in the narrative. I obviously wanted Leia to be found. I wanted Kelsey to be reunited with her daughter. But whether or not these things happen, I'm not going to say. Because, as I said, I really thoroughly recommend it. And uh, I don't want to spoil it. I think the characters are all very well written, for the most part. I will go into more detail about that in a moment. But the characters in general are are well written. They're either likeable or fascinating. One of my favourites with regards to how the character was written is a character called Doris Goodman. There was just something about her I found to be really fascinating, really, really well written. And ultimately, I think one of my favourite characters in the whole thing. It is absolutely a story I couldn't put down. I was very keen to find out what would happen and generally think it's a very well-written narrative. There are obviously elements in this about social work and foster carers. Um, We learn that Kelsey's other children had gone into foster care before Leia. And I I wasn't surprised because it's written by Kathy Glass, in theory, who's written over 30 foster care memoirs, if I'm not mistaken. So that aspect of it was um, not surprising and definitely well-written. So I do recommend it. I won't say anything else just now without spoiling anything because I, I think you, it's it's worth reading. Even if you've never read anything by Kathy Glass, it's definitely worth checking out. So with a spoiler warning, I will now discuss the aspect that I thought was poorly done and very surprisingly so. So big spoilers from now. The bit that I thought was pretty bad is... Well, it's Leia's dialogue or her part of the dialogue. Not Not all of the time. But there are a couple of occasions where she's speaking like an adult, where she's conversing with those around her as if she's fully matured, and she absolutely isn't. She's an eight-year-old little girl, and definitely one who hasn't had a you know an education that would would advance her to talk like an adult. So there's absolutely no reason for it. And generally, it wasn't really bothering me. But then there's this one occasion where we have this big speech that she gives. And as I said, these are big spoilers, but it's a big speech that she gives when she finally arrives home. And she tells her mother about where she's been and how she managed to get home. And she's speaking like an adult. And it's unconvincing. And the reason this is really surprising is because, as I've said, Kathy Glass has written over 30 foster care memoirs to my knowledge and I've read them all and not once 
did I think the children were badly written. Not once did I find that the way the children were presented was unconvincing. So I'm really surprised that that's that's the case here. Obviously, that information in there, for example, the speech she gives when she returns home, is a device to inform the reader about what happened. But I feel like there were much better ways of getting that information across without having Leia just talk like an adult. So I thought that was poorly done. And there are a couple of other occasions when that happens. And also the whole sleeping in hotels with homeless women for two weeks, it's a bit ridiculous. It would have made sense if it had been one or two nights, but to have it for such a length of time, it just didn't make any sense. It didn't need to be for that long. And it meant that that part of the narrative was really unbelievable. So there are a couple of things in this that I thought were really poorly done. But in general, the narrative is gripping. It's otherwise very well written. The characters are very well written. And ultimately, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I would be more than happy to read more from Lisa Stone. And I feel like for me, this is a pretty solid start. I think I chose the right book to start with. Looking forward to exploring the rest. If you haven't read it and you're still listening to me, I do recommend it, even though I've just spoiled a little bit of it. Ultimately, it's one that I'm really happy with.